Welcome back to my channel. It's Thanksgiving weekend. It's also my birthday weekend. So I wanted to show you guys some cozy, healthy, delicious breakfast recipes. These are all dairy and gluten-free. I'm also going to be showing you vegan options for anything that's not vegan. And these recipes are also lower in calories, so they're great if you're trying to lose weight or they're just a great healthy healthier breakfast. The recipes I'm going to show you today are all from my ebook Just Breakfast. You don't need the ebook to follow along with the video though, don't worry. But I will have that linked below for you if you do want to check it out. But let's just get started. Let's make some cozy healthy breakfast recipes. <laughs> first recipe I'm going to show you is this lemon and vanilla chia oatmeal. It's so yummy. To start, you can add half a cup of rolled oats to a small pot with one cup of hot water. You don't need to do this, but what I often like to do is soak the oats and the hot water together for five to ten minutes before cooking. It makes the oats extra fluffy, so that's just a quick tip. Then I get the oats cooking on the stove. Once it's like halfway cooked, you can add two teaspoons of chia seeds to the pot and stir that in. This is going to add some healthy fats and some protein. And you can add one cup of unsweetened almond milk or whatever milk you prefer. Stir that in and cover it with a lid while it finishes cooking so that the seeds can soak in, you know. I cut open a lemon and I squeeze the juice into a small bowl. I also cut a few thin slices just to use as a topping. You don't need to do this. And then once the oats are nice and creamy, you can serve them in a bowl. Measure out about two tablespoons of the fresh lemon juice and add it to the oats. Just take out the seeds from the lemon. You can do anywhere from a quarter to one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I used half a teaspoon and one to two teaspoons of maple syrup or whatever sweetener you like to use. I use one teaspoon and half a teaspoon of coconut oil. This makes it extra creamy and adds some healthy fats, makes it more filling. You can mix that all together and the coconut oil will melt into the oats. So that's the lemon and vanilla chia oatmeal, it's ready. These toppings are just ideas, they're optional. I'm adding two tablespoons of unsweetened vanilla coconut yogurt on top, about a tablespoon of almond butter, then I added some of these lemon slices and that's how I styled it in my ebook. I just thought it looked really cute. And then just a few blueberries on top. And I also sprinkled a bit of extra chia seeds on top just to make it look extra pretty. <laughs> okay, so that's roughly 280 calories without the toppings. You can add any toppings you like. Rob loves this breakfast. This is one of his favorite recipes that I've made. He actually ended up eating this bowl. He walked into the kitchen as I was finishing filming it and I was gonna eat it for breakfast, but I offered it to him because he really loves it. And then I ate the next one instead. We're making healthy peanut butter, blueberry, banana, and walnut pancakes. These are really yummy, so stick around. Gluten-free and dairy-free too, and I'll show you a vegan option. Add a third of a cup of rolled oats to a blender with one medium wrap banana. The wrapper, the better. A sprinkle of cinnamon, a tablespoon of peanut butter, and one egg. To make it vegan, just leave the egg out and instead increase the oats from one third of a cup to half a cup. And then add three tablespoons of any plant-based milk you like. I like to use unsweetened almond milk. And then after it's blended, you can add in, you can add four walnut halves, just chop them up, as well as a third of a cup of frozen blueberries. You can use frozen or fresh ones, it doesn't make a difference, but the frozen ones are a lot cheaper usually. Mix that into the batter with a spoon. And if it's too thick, it's really easy. You can just add a small amount of almond milk or any milk. Once the batter's ready, you can heat a pan on the stove. I like to use a non-stick one. They make better pancakes. This one is a La Creuset pan. You can add a tiny amount of cooking oil spray at the start. And then you can add two tablespoons at a time to the pan to make each pancake. And you can make two to four pancakes at a time depending on the size of the pan you're using. And once the pancakes start to bubble up a bit, you'll know they're ready to flip with the spatula. And once they're cooked on both sides, you can serve them on a plate. I just keep doing this until all of the batter is used up and either make a pancake stack or just a plate full of pancakes. And here's a tip, if they taste uncooked, the heat that you're cooking the pancakes at is too high. Cooking the outside too quickly and not cooking the inside of the pancakes enough. So, so just turn the temperature down a bit. Those look so good already. I usually like to keep the toppings really simple. My favorite way to eat them is actually just plain with maple syrup on top, just so simple and easy. But here's a few more topping ideas 
A small amount of unsweetened vanilla coconut yogurt or any vanilla yogurt is actually really good on top of pancakes. A tablespoon of almond butter or peanut butter drizzled on top is amazing. I often do this. Maple syrup from pancakes is obviously always amazing. And then some fresh blueberries or any type of berry, a sprinkle of cinnamon, some fresh banana slices are actually really good too. And that's definitely quite gourmet looking. Lots, I went crazy, lots of things. These pancakes are roughly 460 calories without the toppings, but you really don't need toppings. They're pretty tasty on their own. The vegan option is roughly 360 calories. So if you want a lower calorie option or you want a plant-based version, try that one. And while I was eating these pancakes, a squirrel was watching me through the window. We named this one unicorns. She's so cute. I felt sorry for her because she was standing outside in the rain. So I gave her a peanut. Peanut. And it's rainy and cold. Okay, stay safe in the storm. Last but not least, we're making this amazing Mediterranean inspired frittata. I'm slicing up one cup of mushrooms and half a cup of baby tomatoes. I add those to a frying pan with a spray of cooking oil. I'm using some dairy-free Via Life feta cheese. You can use regular feta too. About 30 grams of that and I'm cutting it up into smaller pieces. Then I'm using about eight Kalamata olives and slicing them in half and then putting those aside for now. I'm cracking two eggs into a bowl and whisking them with a fork. For a vegan option, you can use a vegan egg replacer, enough to replace two eggs. The eggs in this recipe make about 160 calories, just for reference. And I'm adding salt and pepper to that. And then I'm adding the chopped feta and the olives into that. And once the tomato and the mushroom are basically done, you're gonna add a handful of baby spinach to the pan. This cooks really quickly. Once it's wilted, it's ready. And then once that's ready, I add the vegetables to the bowl too and mix everything together. You can either use the same pan here or a different one. I add another quick spray of cooking oil and pour the mix into the pan. You can cover it with a lid so that it helps to cook on both sides, the top as well. And when the underneath is cooked, you can flip it to finish cooking the top and you can eat it just like that, serve it on a plate. It's roughly 340 calories. You can also add some sides like some toast if you want to. I also love having tomato sauce or ketchup with it. I think that's like a South African, Australian thing to have tomato sauce with eggs. I like this unsweetened one and that's super yummy and delicious and filling a great savory breakfast. I hope you enjoyed these recipes, cozy, healthy, delicious. These recipes are all from my ebook, Just Breakfast. I'll have that link below for you. And the pancake recipe is also going to be on my blog so I'll link that below for you and you can get the recipe there if you need it there um, but thank you so much for watching just by watching this video all the way through you're supporting this channel so much so thank you if you'd like to support this channel even more and my ebooks are all linked below but thank you so much for supporting this channel for so long I really appreciate it I really I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Comment below, let me know what your favorite cozy healthy breakfast is and I'll see you guys in my next video.